The £400 Katia earns each month is enough to get by, but anything extra is more than welcome. Her long hair is considered the best on the extensions market. Untreated and uncoloured, it's known as virgin Slavic hair. She's come to a dealer in Moscow to sell it. In a last-minute wobble, she says her hair makes her feel beautiful, but her financial need outweighs vanity. For many, growing long hair naturally is hard to do, and this is where we help. Russian-born Tatiana Karolina is a hair extension expert in the UK. She regularly travels to her homeland to source hair directly from dealers. She says her clients in London have no great concerns about where the hair has come from. They sort of have a rough idea that it's human hair, you know, it comes from people. And um, they ask a few questions. Um, I always sort of, I'm always honest and whatever information I have, I always give. And they're okay with that. Sometimes they're like, oh, really? Oh, okay. But very rarely. This ponytail would be bought directly from here for around £300. In a London salon, it would fetch £800. It's come from three separate Russian women whose hair became a final resource to tap in times of need. Thousands of women across Russia have done the same as Katya. This hair factory is the country's largest, with an annual revenue of £10 million. Some of this hair is from the Soviet era. Post-perestroika, hair is becoming less valuable. As Russia prospers, women are gaining more access to hair dyes and styling products, lessening the quality. Katia receives her £40 and leaves, significantly lighter and slightly better off. She expresses little concern that her hair will now end up on the head of an infinitely wealthier Western woman. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Moscow.